let's move to the world of the gods. Let's see what we can assess there. Please understand, we're not, I'm not selling you any belief. I'm selling, I'm asking you to think. I'm asking you to use this brain. Now, let's see. Whichever God you believe in, whichever God it is, hey, uh, this is a spiritual center. We validate every God. So, he has all our respect. If you think your God has created the world, who are we to deny you that? If you think your God is powerful, hey, we validate that too. Every God, whichever God it is, deserves the consideration, the respect, and the validation of every human. Now, now, let's see if you can take what I'm going to say now. Is that with all the power you allocate to your gods, there's one thing we can see. Your God couldn't make you without passing through another human being. Can you accept that? With all the power, you know, you guys calling your God a savior, is the most powerful, it's all this. But apparently he couldn't even give you life without going through another person that is carrying all the corruption I told you about. Now, that counts a problem now. Because if he, a pure being, a holy being, couldn't give you life, couldn't access to you without going through another human being, how much likely is it possible for you to access him without passing through the same human being? Because if there was a way around it, he is the most powerful, he would have used that one. We would have found you the day you were being born, you know, Falling from the sky, maybe with a parachute, asking us to make room for you. You're being born. The day that happened, you can say you owe nothing to another human being. But it didn't happen like this. Even God follows this rule. They understand that they won't be able to give you life. They won't be able to access you without going through your ancestral line. Now, that shows the power of the ancestral spirit. Because how many times we end up thinking, well, religions are selling us the idea that, uh, well, God is your best friend, is your confident. You can just lock yourself in your room and say, hey, God, are you there? And then you guys will, you know. They're the ones that are turning you into a crazy people. Because the truth is, apparently that's not doable. Because if not, your God will need humans to give you birth. Okay, if you can take this, we can move forward. 